and you are listening to or watching if you're watching this on youtube the self-love experience podcast with your girl shira nicole in my meditation room for the most part today i'm going to show you a book that i just bought i just bought this book i just bought this book all right hello i am shira nicole and yes i am in my meditation room This is the day. It's by Tim Tebow, and it's a New York Times bestseller. My apologies, but I'm not into sports. I didn't know who this guy was, but I like the title because on my morning routine, every morning when I wake up, I have a playlist. And the first song on my playlist, let's see if I can get away with sharing this with you. <laughs> I can get carried away but i'm like okay this is a synchronicity so the name of the book is this is the day and that is why i bought it all right so i didn't know anything about tim tebow i don't follow him i'm not in, into football or anything like that this book is definitely like up my alley of what i would read it's non-fiction the book starts off right away extremely engaging and what i like about this is that a lot of successful people they have really strong work ethics a really positive mindset and many of them have a strong foundation in either some sort of religion or strong morality like as far as good judgment you don't have to be part of religion to know that maybe you shouldn't kill someone okay all right so i started reading this and actually i was reading this on my balcony and the very first chapter is say i love you and actually the way this book is set up is that every chapter says this is the day this is the day this is the day but chapter one is this is the day you're going to say, I love you. Next, get in the game. Three, leave the past behind. Four, listen to the right voice. Five, believe in what really matters. Six, say yes. So even every chapter has something that's very positive. And I feel like that's very important. This will be a book that I will read in the morning. I have morning books. I have afternoon books, evening books, good night books. This will definitely be a morning book. I like to feed my mind early in the morning about things that are positive. Just like I keep myself clean because we want to make sure we have good hygiene. I need to make sure that I have a good mental hygiene. Yes, yes, I like that. Yes, so let's have a good mental hygiene. And I do that by making sure that I clean my mind every morning with a positive book. I read the introduction and one of the stories that he talks about here that really stood out to me is that he talked about what it was like waking up in his house. And he said growing up, his parents had different styles when it came to waking him up. So his mom would swing his bedroom door wide open and say, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. That's how she greeted him. That's how she woke him up. Psalms. 118 verse 24. His dad will do things a little differently. Like he'll rush in. This is a reenactment. The following event isn't real and the participant is only pretending. Please be advised. Yo, are you alive? Are you alert? Are you awake? Are you enthusiastic? Let's go, 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 go. All right. It's a little different. Let's go. What I took from that though is that it doesn't matter whether it was his mom or dad, it definitely was waking up to something positive knowing that wow you have 24 more hours in this day you each day you get a new 24 hours and you can use those hours to seize the day to carpe diem to go live the life that you want to live and to make a difference and to live your dreams so then he says, how different would your day be if you lived out the words of Psalm 118 verse 24? 
So he says, think about it, like really, really think about it. And then he says, well, is there something you would change? Is there someone you would reach out to? Is there something you would need to give? Is there something you would need to let go of? You make it even get knocked down, but you don't have to stay there. And I just feel like this is such a really great mindset. And I can't wait to read more of the book and share with you. But it's a really great mindset to have where you're like, wow, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. This is the day that the Lord has made. I get 24 more hours. The sun has arisen and I was on the right side of the dirt. And that makes me feel good. So that's why I recommend this is a day as part of anyone's self-love practice, self-love journey. Part of me loving myself and part of my own self-love experience is me being able to read books like this, being able to just think about it, meditate on it. And he ends the introduction with, this is the day that you can switch off autopilot and begin living your life with passion. This is the day you can see what God sees. This is the day you can overcome a bad habit. This is a day you can overcome a character flaw. This is a day that can bring you a step closer to your dreams and goals. Part of my self-love experience is setting goals and just being able to accomplish my goals. One of the things that I learned maybe within the last year is that I'm not in a rush. I'll say this again, come, come, come closer. So one of the things is that I, I'm not in a rush to accomplish my, my dreams and goals because I know for certain that everything that's for me is for me. I will accomplish it at the right time. So now I'm just enjoying the journey. I'm just enjoying the process. I'm just enjoying each day. And when I'm at the destination, I'm at the destination. And me, it's like, it's like being on a cruise. Before 2020, actually, I did get a cruise in <laughs> at the beginning of 2020. Before that, my husband and I, we were going on cruises all the time. And what I love so much about a cruise is that the destination isn't the prize. The actual cruise itself to me is the prize. Unlike having to drive in a car, take a plane, the party starts as soon as I get on the cruise. We go get on a cruise, especially go New Year's Eve cruise on a New Year's cruise. As soon as you get on a cruise, it's champagne. Well, thank you. Lido deck party. Like the party starts right away. It's not like, oh, we got to sit here on a plane. I'm sitting here like this. <laughs> Depending on which airlines you're on. You all know which airline this is when you're like this. I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> but you're sitting and you're waiting until you get to the destination. And there's not too much you can do in this little spot. But on a cruise, I mean, you can just roam and roam and roam and roam, which I absolutely love. And to me, that's what it means for me as I get a step closer to my dreams and goals. Every day is a step closer to my dreams and goals, but I'm enjoying the process. This is the day you can fight for what's right. This is the day you can change someone life for the best. This is a day you can change your own life. And life isn't just about one day. This one day in the future that you people just keep hoping will come. Life isn't just about one day. It is about this day. Each day is about this day, this moment, this experience right now. So if you are interested in checking out this book, like I said, I got this from Target. I'm sure it's on Amazon. I do have a link if you're interested in trying Audible, Amazon Audible. I know a lot of people are like, how do you have time to read books? You can, a lot of times you can listen to the book, free membership where you can actually listen to the book. And then if you don't want to keep the membership, well, if you listen to it within 14 days, there you go. This is an easy read. So I'm sure it's an easy to listen or you can actually purchase it. And if you have read that book, or if you just know anything about Tim that you want to share with me that I didn't know prior to reading this book and learning about him, then please uh, share that in the comments. And if you know a book similar to this that you recommend that I talk about, I will. So I would love to also hear, how do you start your day? So I literally start my day with the song, this is the day. And now with this book, this is the day. How do you start your day? 
and how how do you take care of your own mental hygiene how do you get yourself in the place to go and be the best version of yourself that you can do in this moment in this day I would love for you to share that information with me. I would love to hear about it. Please post that in the comments. Post any suggestions for other books in the comments. And if you like what I'm doing, if anything that I'm saying is resonating with you, please, please, please share the video. Sharing is caring. Sharing helps more than anything. I know everyone's like, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And that's great too. But if you share this, then now you're paying it forward. You're helping other people actually get exposed to this book, my channel, all of that as well. And for that, I thank you. So uh, I see you <laughs> next time. Please make sure you ring the notification bell so you will know when I release another video. Look for me at least once a week. Maybe when school is out, since I'm a school teacher, I'll be able to do twice a week. And I love to get recommendations of what day should be the best day that I release a video. So I would love to hear from you and find out what works best for you because that's what this is about. It's about you. It's about our community that we are growing here. Okay, until next time, until next video, take care of yourself, feed your soul. You want a little bit more? I do have a podcast called The Self-Love Experience. You can click the link in the description box into the Self-Love Experience podcast if that's a fit for you. Till next time, this is Self-Love of Shire. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Self-care journey is an online clothing store with unique clothing that you wear through your self-care activities. Whether you are taking a bike ride, working out of the gym, going to do yoga, or just a trip to the mall, go over to self-care journey now online, browse and look around and check the description box for my special link. You listen to it on the self-love experience podcast, and we have a special link with a discount for you. Look in the description box below so you can get information on that discount.